안녕하세요, Claudio입니다. Hey guys, Cloud here. Welcome to How to Study Korean Lesson 15. This lesson covers many different small topics, but none of them are particularly hard. So, uh, it should be smooth sailing. All right, let's get into it. This part's divided. This lesson is divided into seven parts. Some more about 좋다, 싫다, 좋아하다, and 싫어하다, which we learned about previously. Um, let's just dive right in and compare them. 김치는 싫어요. Kimchi is bad or not good. 저는 김치를 싫어해요. I don't like kimchi. 김치는 좋아요. Kimchi is good. 저는 김치를 좋아해요. I like kimchi. Now I'm about to say, I personally don't like kimchi. But uh, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Alright, if, you if you're not sure as to why these sentences are translated this way, make sure to check the lesson again. There's an extensively long explanation on this section, so make sure to check it out if you're unsure. Alright, part two. We mentioned pre multiple times in this video and in, uh, in other videos um, online. Um, we consistently ham hammer in the fact that adjectives can't act on objects, so you're never going to use the object marking particles with adjectives. So, for example, you could not say "nanan kimchiru chotta." It makes no sense. You can still, however, have an object in the sentence, but the object just the adjective cannot act on it. So. You just can't have a topic marking particle. And we learned that we usually use ir ka with it. So, 저는 김치가 좋아요. I like kimchi. In English, there's obviously an object. But in Korean, it's not marked as an object. So, here's another example. You cannot say 나는 너를 자랑스러워. That would not mean I'm proud of you. That would just not mean anything. 나는 네가 자랑스러워 uh, is what you're supposed to say. Alright. Let's talk about 틀다. I remember, Terda was very confusing to me when I first learned it. Not because it has a lot of meanings, but rather because Terda, which means to listen, conjugates as Teroyo because of the Tigot irregular, which makes it sound exactly like the conjugation for Terda, which is also Teroyo. Um, and I'd just be like, well, which one is it? And I learned that if I'm ever confused, just look at the context again, and you should be able to figure it out. So let's look at its meanings. It can mean to carry or to hold something, like hold a bag, like Kabangar Terosoyo. Um, I carried a backpack, and it can also mean to enter. So, 저는 그 그림이 um, 마음에 들어요. I like that picture. Like that picture entered my heart. That's just how Koreans say that they like uh, they like things. All right, some more about 들다. Um, 들다 can be compounded with 가다 and 보다 to mean to enter or to come in or to go in. So, 들어가다, for example, 아버지는 은행에 uh, 들어갔어요. My father went into the um, bank. It, let's look at 들어오다. 남자는 방에 들어왔어요. A man came into the room. Okay. Is it still working? Yeah. Alright. 들다 is not the only word that can be combined. Here's a bunch of examples of compound verbs. 나오다, 가져가다, 돌아가다, 아니, 돌아보다. Like, there, there's a lot of them. Um, but we, we haven't learned all of them yet. Uh, but you'll see you'll you'll continue to see a lot of them. Let's look at these three words. We actually learned these in the vocab section of previous lessons, um, but I just wanted to compare them to really understand the differences because they can be quite similar because uh, they're all comparing words. 우리는 매우 달라요. We're very different. 우리는 똑같아요. We're exactly the same. And 우리는 비슷해요. Um, we are similar. So you can you can see the, the differences. Uh, actually, quick anecdote. When I went to Korea, there was a 7-Eleven right next to where I was staying. So every night I'd get back around like midnight or something. Um, almost around the same time, actually. And I stopped by the 7-Eleven to grab some snacks to eat. At some point, the cashier like recognized me and, and he said, um, he asked me like, Bear katun shigane wayo? Do you come at the same time every day? So here you can see katun means uh, same. Alright, part 6. Korean homonyms. There's a bunch of these in Korean, um, so let's look at them. Sida, even though it's written as Sida for all of these, it can mean many things like to write, to use, and to wear a hat. They all sound the same, but they're completely different words. Another example is Kolida. It can mean to be in a state of hanging, like to be hung, uh, to be caught, to be trapped, to take a certain amount of time, like how long it took to walk, and to catch a cold or a sick, like Kamgiye Kolya Soyo. Um, to see examples of these, check the lesson online. There's a bunch of these. Um, there's more words like this, like kamda and stuff like that, but we haven't learned them yet. So, finally, I had to say being sick. 
we did learn in this lesson that apuda means to be sick or to be sore, and I'm show you a couple examples. Pari apayo means my arm is sore. Tonon oje nomo apasoyo, I was very sick yesterday. You could also say that you're sick by using kolida, like we just mentioned. Tonon kamgie kolirasoyo, I caught a cold, or I have a cold. All right, that's it for this lesson. Wow, we've uh, we finished more than half of unit one. What do you guys want to see more of uh, in unit two? Do you, is there something you guys don't want to see in the next unit? Um, is there something new that you guys want to see? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, also, as usual, you can check more videos that'll be in the uh, description below.